Imperial Knights never look so good. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and we have some really cool stuff to show you today. Now, you know I love Titans and Knights and everything big and stompy for Warhammer 40K. Well, today is no different. We got hit up by Taro Model Maker. Uh, he wanted to know why he wasn't on our alternate companies you should check out list and i was like bro i never even heard of you who are you <laughs> and it sounds terrible to say right but i didn't know who he was and i'm just like well, what's your stuff where's your website let me check you out and uh and he's like oh yeah i got an etsy store i was like all right cool and i checked it out and i'm like yep i've seen your stuff everywhere i didn't even know this was like a real company i love your stuff so that uh, we worked it out he sent me a little small batch of items to check out and i was like you know what let's do a video on this stuff because uh his casts are great very high quality stuff. He has a ton of different upgrades for the Knights. He's got some other stuff for uh, Necrons. I guess maybe he plays Necrons or um, some conversion bits for the rods and things because those are annoying. And, uh, and there's just tons of great stuff over there. It looks like he does a really great business. You can tell in his designs that it's really well thought out and he, he really just gets it. He gets the design part of it. And being an engineer, I don't know if he's an engineer himself, then I definitely appreciate that. So let's uh, let's take a look at his website. It's an Etsy store right now who knows maybe in the future he'll get he'll get a big uh shopify website or some sort of web store in the near future maybe that's everybody's dream right start it start at the bottom just cast your own stuff put it out and then uh turn get bigger and bigger and bigger and we've seen it happen and that's what makes this hobby great so here's the store it's taro model maker you're probably just gonna have to do a google search for it because it's on etsy uh, I don't think it has a dedicated URL, but you'll find it. Trust me, it's very easy to find. Model Knight <laughs> Factorum. And here's all the stuff you probably, just like with me, I've, you've probably seen some of the stuff and didn't even realize this was actual products you could buy, which just completely blew, blew me away. So there's 33 different products in here from these big ass knight shields that we showed you in the opening uh, image right there to left and right punchy fists. Uh, the melee arms, you've got the weapon arms, you've got some close combat arms, buzzsaw arms, rockets, ringing bells, uh, perceptor or not perceptor cannons, uh, armature weapons, night mounts, no weapon mounts, shoulder pad, buzz saws, everything you need right here to make your knight have whatever weapon is out there and even some that aren't. Some gatlers for the top because hey, how dope is that? And then just extra bits and pieces here and there. Some stuff for the monolith and some, some gauze rods uh, for the Necrons right there. So you've probably seen a lot of these things already and you're like, holy crap, that's where I get it from. I think probably their biggest products are this Knight Titan Breacher Shield, uh, which we're going to show you. We've got one of those. And these close combat arms that just look so dope. Now it is 32 bucks for this upgrade kit. And, you know, a lot of times people are like, wait, it's just, it's just a shield and it's $32? Yes, but it's got a lot of different stuff going on. So let's take a look at it. So first off, you've got, uh, it comes with this little round convex piece right here that you can actually use for your Knight Lancer. So you might recognize this piece if you have a Forge World Knight Lancer. This is the Knight Lancer arm. So you could use it and mount it to that if you want, if you don't want that exposed like energy shield type thing. Or there's a couple of different options right here as well that, uh, well, you got power feeds, and things but you can see depending on how you want to do it you can put these different pieces in here these different um, we'll just go extra um, guards for the shield and then that way you can actually put weapons and things and close combat weapons for the knight lancer or perhaps you know your barrel for your rapid fire battle cannon or something like that can actually lock into here and you can have a really really cool dynamic pose um, I'm not sure if this will do it no that one won't quite do it but uh, you kind of get what I'm saying as far as that goes. Now, one of the things that I also noticed about this before we jump over to the IRLs and I show you some of the stuff on the paint desk was the fact that he has instructions uh, for all these things. And I don't know if I can find them on the website right at this second because I did not bookmark them. But he actually has instructions on here 
of how all this stuff goes together because to be quite honest when I got it I was like I don't know how any of this stuff goes together he has a little downloadable printoutable little kind of PDF type thing that explains everything what all the parts are and all the different options for everything um, but I'm going to show you a lot of it right now too that I think might kind of explain things but man let me tell you what if you're in the nights you're into resin cast parts, maybe you don't like the 3D stuff, or maybe you just don't like the options that are available from some of the 3D cat or 3D creators out there, definitely check out this website. Like this is some legit stuff. It's very, very rare that somebody hits me up and is like, I got the coolest thing ever. And they actually do have the coolest thing ever. It turns out <laughs> Taro Model Maker has the has the coolest things ever for your nights. I get really excited about Titans <laughs> and airplanes and cats and other things but anyways so this is why i get so excited about uh, about things like this because this look at this design right here so this is the left uh excuse me right punchy fist all of these digits actually come separate so you, you glue it all together and kind of whatever configuration you want and uh, on the website when you download the instructions you can actually grasp weapons in here so if you have like a hilt or a shaft or something to grab that you can actually glue the little digits around and kind of grasping it and holding it which is you don't see that sort of thing like that thought that foresight into all of that working now check this out too this is the uh, how you mount it all together so it actually goes together uh, very easily it just locks in and then you can twist well a lot of times it just goes this way and then you put the the punchy fist on like that right and then even the little piston uh, locks in uh, let's see oh yeah okay that's why so this these little pieces lock into right here which I missed because I'm looking in the viewfinder Oh no, don't do this to me. You were so good earlier. So this is gonna lock in, I swear. And then it's gonna, it wants to mount up here. And the, what I haven't showed you yet, and we're gonna glue this, take a second here and glue this down, is this piece right here. You see this hemispherical divide that he actually put in here to help lock this in and glue it down. That's a, that's a lot of foresight right there. That's actually pretty smart. And like, you know, I don't know if uh, they have an engineering background or anything like that, but that's, you know, that, that says a lot about the design and detail and, um, you know, just kind of keep an eye on things. And then this locks in right there. Now I already put a magnet in here. I think it's a 3 8 inch magnet, which is really cool because when you start, um, looking at the actual plastic weapons right here you have to kind of sandwich them in between this but what's nice about this one here is that it's actually got the space for it right there so i'm going to glue i'm going to finish gluing this down i wanted to show this to you real quick uh before we went any further because i really appreciate this okay so now that that is glued into place i want to show you some other cool stuff too so you has got the armor plates which i'm going to leave off because i'm going to end up probably painting this separate in my uh, night color scheme there's also another bit here that locks in and that uh you put that hemispherical round piece on top of it so you can fit on the large shield too so that's how this mounts to this now this the, the shield itself also comes with uh, one of those mounts too and then the, the bit that goes on the Lancer as well just depending on how you want to do that but it is uh, you know it is an option that comes with this the new uh, newly redesigned one uh, if you don't like the one that's uh, that's got the indentation on the back right there so just a couple of different options to be aware of now um, when you put this on the night and I'm gonna have to zoom out for a second so when you put this on your knight, and there goes my armor piece, you're gonna get a really cool looking, I mean, you can pose it however you want, of course, but I did this kind of like ready to rock, kind of Bruce Lee looking uh, kind of type thing right here that I think is uh, pretty neat. But if you put another, uh, if you put a weapon mount over here and flip this around, then you've pretty much got, you know, just something really cool, like ready to go. Like he's just kind of springing it on somebody. He's like, ah, right, eat leg, coppers. I don't know where that 30s style gangster voice came from, but there it is. So just to give you an idea of how it all looks, uh, I think I think this is pretty neat for sure. A uh, part of their weapons they offer is this uh, some sort of like battle cannon sort of thing. I'm not exactly sure, but it comes with some other different parts too that you can put in here. But I only got this one with it, which is fine um, because you know you can just kind of say it's whatever, like rapid fire battle cannon. And this actually will lock onto the existing piece here that we have magnetized. And strangely enough, oh, not that one. That is not the rapid fire battle cannon. That's the Gatler. Let's get it together here. Uh, strangely enough, it locks right in and I don't even need, a, well, if I didn't have this weight on the front and I wouldn't even need a magnet, but it is literally that close on the tolerance. It's 
kind of nuts how it just like sits right there um but like i said if this weight wasn't on the front well maybe it was i remember oh yeah okay. well it almost sits in there but either way you can easily drop a magnet in it if you want and there's two other bits there's a gatler and a long barrel cannon as well for this so if you're in the market for some night upgrades and you have this part well hey this part will get you there or they sell this part too so pretty much anything out there now another bit that i thought was pretty neat was this little like industrial like uh hacksaw sort of thing um and it comes with the piston separately unfortunately i don't have an extra um close combat bit that you need for like the re uh, re reaper chain sword right here so this is the bit you're going to need to attach it to because the piston will go right into it and then this clamps over top of these little uh nubs right here but this is so fresh look at this thing <laughs> I love this thing. It's so dope. Like, look at it. I gotta, like, find one of these bits, or maybe I'll just order one, because you can get these tops, too, but I just, I, I didn't get one with this, but, and I'm, I'm really sad, because I want this buzz off, because I want to go around, and I want to go, meow, 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 meow. Anyways, <laughs> enough of that you don't want to hear about that anymore and then last but certainly not least is the ginormous blast shield this thing is ridiculously cool so look at this it's it's like this freaking big like this thing's nuts this is my danger uh crash test night dummy this is the thing we attach all the upgrades and things to via blue tack so i don't have to put a new one together every time i uh showcase somebody's uh new miniature so what's cool about this is like I said, it's got all these different parts right here that are very, very well done sculpt wise. Now, depending on what arm you're gonna attach to it, there's little power feeds um, that will lock around and lock up into, it's meant to go, let me find it. It's meant to lock into this bit right here. So you have to use uh, the, the power fist arm to mount, use one of these mount bits. Well, you gotta have the armor plate on it. So we'll get there together, I swear. Uh, I just showed it to you already. I swear it's a real thing. Okay, so you gotta have that, and then you gotta put the mount on it, and then you can mount this to this in pretty much any style you want. And then of course you can use the fist as well to kind of tilt it or whatever you wanna do. So you can get a lot of posing options and you can also twist this. So you wanna dry fit a lot of these things to get it just right. But you've seen in the pictures, like you can have, you know, you can have your, your thing down like this and then you can have the lance kind of across here or you could even do the rapid fire battle cannon, right? across the chest and have some sort of have this kind of stand in here with the battle cannon just kind of like extra protection and that's why you can put these two different little uh guard pieces in here that we showed you earlier so you can put the full guards in or you can put the half guards in whatever you kind of feel like right there and then depending on what arm you use there's the different power feeds to attach those two as well whether you use uh uh, the Knight Lancer or the Plastic Knight. So, like I said, this stuff is very, very well designed. The casts are very well done. I mean, almost, I, I, I didn't see any noticeable flaws in any of this, which already puts it above Forge World in my book these days. And I mean, it's very good quality resin. This is probably the smooth on resin that um, that is literally the best out there on the market. Everybody knows it. And I mean, it's just it's just very well done. This is a big chunk of resin. It's not going to break or anything like that. And just the fact that they had the foresight to add the extra power feeds, add the extra little guards right here so you can do a bunch of different effects and things. I just think it's very forward thinking and in a, in a hobby that everybody, you know, kind of spits stuff out at a furious rate. To see somebody that really puts their heart and soul into these designs, it really does a great job. It's It speaks volumes uh, to those companies. And then those are the companies that we like to work with. Those are the companies we like to showcase. And those are the bits that I want on my toys. <laughs> so make sure you check them out over at Taro Model Makers. Just do a Google search for it because it's an Etsy store right now. Uh, a little bit hard to find, but Google will get you there all day, every day. And of course, we'll have the links in here too, direct links and referral links so they know that uh, you know we sent them over there and we can kind of keep track of all that for you so that's it for this one thank you very much for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos